and let me tell you, it's a thrill to be out of the house. I never get out of the house. I stay home all the time. I never do anything fun because I'm a housewife. I hate that word, housewife. I prefer to be called domestic goddess. A few years ago, Roseanne Barr was an everyday housewife living in a trailer with her husband and three kids, proving, as she says, that she breeds well in captivity. But today, you have to still do it because now the camera's on. But today, Roseanne has risen from domestic goddess to comedy kingpin. How did she do it? And how does she deal with life after Lemon Pledge? Now you have to do my part. I'm Tom Bergeron, and this is People Are Talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, obviously, we're not going to be having any fun on this show today. Roseanne Barr is here. Hi. The domestic gods, the hair looks wonderful. Thanks. It I really hope does. I don't cut my juggler when no, I turn not, my head on that's it. That's good. I mean, it could survive. A, <laughs> it's up there, isn't it's, it? It's good. Now, this is, well, this is something the glamour. audience really voted on Roseanne wearing the them, entire yeah. necklace. I told them, should I wear this? And they said, yeah. So I'm pretty damn cute, I think. <laughs> I made the I made the, the hair crack and, and the person did you hear is circling over it. It just really looks good. It no, looks it does good. look great. It looks doesn't wonderful, it? really. I look uh, pretty glamorous. So you're doing I? you're gonna be at the Orpheum tonight? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you're not sure? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be over there. A lot of people with tickets will be darn surprised. I'll be over there with up. my good friend Louie Anderson and we we're gonna look forward to having a real good time. Okay, we'll talk more about that a little later on. Well, that's the, enough. The blatant self promotion of our that's right, enough. the heck with them right. then. Uh, <laughs> Good to have you here. I, the last time we worked together was on the old we Florida Day format. We did those minutes. really fast minutes, yeah. but it was really fun. So if we stop after like 53 seconds, we do, this time we have to keep going. <laughs> keep going. Okay. How does it feel to be regarded as sort of the savior for many women out ah, there? Ah, just, ah, just, <laughs> just is that what I am? Having to endure the drudgery of day-to-day -day housewifery, and here you are out there championing the cause. I don't know. I mean, I think it's neat that if people think that, but I think more than that, people just think I'm a comic. Mm -hmm. I don't think they really think I'm any savior of housewifery. You don't think so? Well, maybe they do, and if they do, that's great. I'll charge more for tickets. <laughs> <laughs> how many women? How many women out here have uh, have been or are currently uh, a housewife? All right. Oh, see, stay, that's stay. great. Stay. Look at that. That's now, great. As, as far as far as you're concerned. You look up to this woman, don't you? I love her. I live in the kitchen or in the cellar. <laughs> <They're just laughs> laundry or cooking. That's right. That sounds like a straight line somehow, and, and doesn't it? Charlie, I just love it. I saw you at Great Woods, and you were fantastic. Oh, gosh, yeah. With uh, awesome. Julio and Glaze, yeah. and you were just marvelous. Well, I thank mean, you. I just, I crack up. I hear you on the radio. I just love to listen to you, because all I do is laugh. Roseanne, oh, that's listen. Great. That's great. There should thank be more. You. I think you should make a movie with Bette Midler. Oh, boy, would I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. What? Oh, I love her. Don't you love her? Can we find out right now, what's Julio Iglesias really like? Well, he's a really nice person, uh -huh. and uh, he's, a, he's a very intelligent person, and I think uh, people don't know this, really, but he's really funny. He is really a I've funny I've heard that guy. the accent isn't And, oh, I'm going to tell you something. I shouldn't tell you, but anyways, you know, I'm going to do my <laughs> HBO special next month, yes. and he's going to be on it. But nobody's supposed to know that. Oh, all right. So you could know it here, because, right. you know. Well, we won't tell anyone. But it's a surprise. But, yeah, he's going to do it. All right. Now, what about, let's get into the area of being a housewife. Uh -huh. you, have, you have mined that for all kinds of material. Yeah. When you were doing it, did it feel as funny as it has in retrospect? Well, I, I've always thought it was kind of funny, the stuff that you have to do just to live. I mean, I've always had a sense of humor. Uh -huh. So I have always, uh, you know, hoped that my laughing at something would make it a little less tragic or horrible and I think you know we all do that anyway. What are some of the more horrible aspects? Of well every time something bad happened to me in my whole life I go you know I'm gonna laugh about this in five years <laughs> and that helped me pull through a lot of really bad stuff. And like I the think, Soviets have a five-year plan and you did too. <laughs> yeah. That's great. But, but a lot of that bad stuff was uh, you know the stuff you have to do when you're a mom and a wife and you don't have very much money. Mm -hmm. You lived in a trailer? Yeah we lived in a trailer. Is that right? Six feet wide and yeah. eight feet long? Uh -huh. Three kids? Well, we didn't have to. We had we had one kid in the trailer, and then we moved to a 600 foot square 
a 600 square foot home, uh -huh. which was like about as big as, you know, the stage. <laughs> and my husband was working nights then, so I have to keep them kids, all three of them were in diapers, and I had to keep them quiet all day so he could sleep. How did you do that? Huh? How I went you... out of my ever-loving mind. <laughs> <laughs> I went out of my gourd. It was really hard. But any woman or parent who stays home with little babies like that knows how hard a job that is. And mm -hmm. then I sort of got the idea later that there was a lot of funny stuff in it that I never heard women talking about unless it was to say that they didn't do it good enough. They didn't, they weren't a good enough housewife? Yeah, or? that was the only jokes I ever heard women tell about it was that, well, they weren't good at it. Well, most, most jokes about housewives were by men directed at Yeah, but the, I never listened to jokes. them. You know, I, who cared about that? <laughs> the one I cared about was when women would say it and I'd go, well, where's this other side that says, why should we have to do it in the first place? Uh -huh. So I sort of, I guess I saw an opening for myself and I, I went right through it. They say but I had to be out of my, totally <laughs> out of my mind to ever do it in the first place. So nature report a vacuum as do you, I guess, and uh, yeah. and you went right in there and, I sure did. and filled it in. I got real lucky. Well, other housewives out here, who, who, who was it that raised their hand? Now, for you, is, uh, do you um, see a lot of truth in what Roseanne talks about? Well, I'm a house mother, and I'm expecting another one. Can I? Well, let's oh, see. I want to see. Who, who is this? Can we get? <laughs> let's get this. No, that, who is this? Remy? That's, yeah, that's my son. That's your son? How yeah. old is okay. he? And those are chairs. Uh, he turned three two weeks ago. And you're going to have another one? That's yep. good spacing, though, isn't it? That's yeah, three and a half years. Mine were 13 months apart. Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> and you put, helped me pull through a lot of things. Oh, I'm glad. And, and I just I appreciate you so much. Thank there, you for well, thank being you. here. Thank you for They were 13 here, months too. apart. Didn't it ever occur to you, the current catchphrase, <laughs> is that you could just say no? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know what. I think I was just in this coma that was about 10 years long, <laughs> is all I can say. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, I just know that I, I liked being pregnant a lot because when I was pregnant, you know, my husband, he'd change their diapers in the morning, which was always the worst part. When you get up in the morning and you've got three of them in diapers, well, two. Two, yeah. But if I was pregnant, then he'd do that because I would, like, regurgitate. So <laughs> there was advantages to it, too. You know, I got yeah. out a lot of that. Sounds like a real happy way to start your day. Oh, yeah. it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go to the phones. We have a viewer already with a question for Roseanne. Hi, you're on People Are Talking. Hi, Rosanna. Hi. How are you? I love you. You are terrific. Thank My you. My question is, um, you joke a lot about your husband. Mm -hmm. um, is he really like that in real life, or <laughs> is it just part of the routine? Well, you, well here's what I say for that. <laughs> we are all married to the same guy. So my husband's like that, and so is yours. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. When I hear <laughs> you talk about it, I say, that's my husband. She's married to my husband. We're all married to the same guy. Uh-huh. Because I heard it too much. It's like they all do the same kind like of deal. Like what? Uh, uh, any men share this <laughs> resentment of being lumped into one pile here? Well, I mean, of course, <laughs> no, they're they all agree with you. They're individuals and stuff, yeah. but they all, I mean, we all grew up in the same country, and we all, uh, you know, pretty much think the same way, men and women. I have as to admit. As far as that, women are the ones that do the housework and that type. We all believe that. I have to admit. Especially I, men. I've gone around asking my wife where things and were. Where things are. And, uh, you know, uh, you know that whole kind of deal. And criticize you and think you can't drive and the whole thing. <laughs> they do all of that. I bet you do that, right? You don't no. ever let your wife drive. You no, no, she drives. She, no, she when drives. No, she drives. When you're in the car, does she drive? Yeah. Oh, I don't even <laughs> believe you. <laughs> Lois, call up. Oh, well, no. you're, well, that's good. Then. I mean, not... He never lets me drive. If he's in the car, well, he's got to be the one but behind that wheel. That but you're, the star, you're a star now. He's still like that. It don't change nothing. That didn't change the balance of power at all at, at home when... No. You're on The Tonight Show and... No. No? Well, I mean, I'm making some money, I guess, in that <laughs> way, but, you know, no, it never changes. Now, you said even in the areas... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but, the truth. Is it true? Here, your sister's here. <laughs> Geraldine's here. Is this true that it's still the same home life uh, as before? Well, the balance of power really never changed because Roseanne is still in control. So. <laughs> 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 Nothing really did change except for cash flow, I guess. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> see you. You yeah. See you well, assume something different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you have mentioned, I mean, you have manipulative ways. Of oh, no, I just say it. I oh. don't have to manipulate. Oh, no, I'll just tell them. 
that come on all the stuff about how you know you just you just play up to the male ego and get them to do anything you want well that was the thing that got me how my mom does that i mean and a lot of these other gals they they get them to do that i mean that always amazed me that they were that dumb <laughs> that my mom she could say stuff like this to my dad this drives me out of my mind well you go out and do that and i'm just too weak to do it i'm too weak to do it and that again, they do anything for that i mean they're so dumb <laughs> So I thought it was to do it the other way was better. Just go, go do it. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time manipulating you. Just do it. <laughs> but yeah, I do do that joke. But you know, you got to be nice to them or they won't stay around too long. Is this separate? Because you're apart a lot now, aren't you? Yeah. You're on the road a lot. And yeah. It's <laughs> no. Yeah, it's real hard on our family. Uh -huh. I want to talk about, know. particularly for the kids, uh, when we come back, we have to take a break. Get a little oxygen in here. We'll be right back. <laughs>